Zotero for Mac, inserting in-text citations. I have Zotero open, and I also have my paper that I'm writing open. And here in Word, I'm going to click on the Zotero menu, and when you install Zotero, it automatically puts a Zotero menu in Word or in Google Docs, if that's what you're using for word processing. And that gives me access to the special commands or buttons that let me add citations and do bibliographies. For this particular video, we're just going to add in-text citations. So I'm going to scroll down and start putting those in. So you're going to position your cursor where you want the in-text citation to go. And you're going to click on Add Edit Citation button. And up comes the red box. So to use this, we have to know a word in the title or the author's name that we can type in to bring up the right thing that we want to put here. And so I do know we want to type this name. So and there's the citation. And it's formatted it for us. And I press Enter. And it pops it into the text. Let's do another one. I have one connected to my second paragraph here. Again, add edit citation. And this one I remembered was on Etsy. So I click on that and hit return. And now I've got this anonymous Etsy page where I found all of the tardigrade themed merchandise was available. Okay, I'm going to go a little further here. This is another thing that I need an in-text citation for. A little space. Click the button. And start typing. And there is the item. Click on it. And hit Enter. In APA format, when you have a direct quotation, in quotation marks like this. You need to put a page number along with the other information. So let's do that. And I remember the author's name here. I'm going to click there. So for this one, I do need a page number. And I'm going to just click on the blue rectangle there. And up pops a menu that lets me put in the page number, which happens to be 1. And then I can come and click back on that and hit Enter. And now I've got my citation with the page number. Now you've probably already noticed that using the red box method of putting the in-text citations into your document, you have to really know a keyword, and if you've got a lot of sources that you're drawing from, that could become problematic. Fortunately, there is another option. So let me scroll to where the next one comes in. That's the last one here. So again, I'm going to do it just like before, position my cursor. Click on the button, and up comes the red box. But this time, notice the itty bitty down arrow there. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to go to the classic view. And now I can look into the folder in Zotero where I have all of my sources, and I can find the correct thing right there. And do OK. 
And now I have my final in-text citation for my paper.